guys, Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. We're going to break down this uh, Nirvana song right now. Also, I uh, appreciate you subscribing to the channel. And then I've got free courses in the link down there uh, that can really help you out for guitar learning stuff. So thank you for that. All right, let's break it down. All right, so this is half step down tuning. Start with that. Then the intro, which, and also most of the song are just basically this set of chords with little variations. Sometimes there's a power chord, sometimes there's a little extra note in there, but for the most part, it's A. So a one finger A right there. And then a C, which is third fret A string. Sometimes it's a power chord, sometimes it's a full C major bar chord, but it's right there. And then an E power chord, which we're gonna do with one finger. And the index finger, it's not barring, it's, it's just pressing on that second fret A and D and muting the G string. Sometimes you will hear that second fret G string in there. But that's got that open B and high E ringing out, we're calling it E5. So we've got A to C, and then E, and then a G, and I'm playing G with my middle finger on the third of the E and ring finger on the third of the high E, and it's muting out that A string. There's also, you know, John, John, ga chica John, ja 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 in between those ja 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 there's little opens just like open little strum parts of the open strings see that And I was playing G, you see my index there? That's just habit, you're not hearing that note. So the intro is more open and strummy. The verse, still the same set of chords, but it's picked out, think like the song Lithium, there's a little more palm muting. And the first C chord, he plays a, a, so he goes A, where he's strumming the open A and D. And then after that, he moves over to the D and G, so. And then open A to third fret. And it sounds like it's muting out the D string, but you go, and that open G which just comes from a C chord. The other times, he plays C this way, but that first, first verse. And on, when the verse comes in, when he plays the E, you do hear, it becomes like more of an E sus. He's just doing that one finger and you hear that second fret. You still aim for that E power chord, but you hear that note a little more in there, so. And then on the G, we switch to a G power chord, and he plays a lot of the E root just like that with one finger across. So you'll end up hearing that sus4. It's a G power chord. So. Still just A, C, E, G. Sometimes you just hear some of those sus fours in there. Then.
pretty much just the same thing, power chords. <laughs> So the bridge is uh, a C sharp. So it's C sharp power chord, which is fourth fret A string root. To A. A, pi a pickup note on E. So, so it's like open E, three, two, one, O. Oh. So C sharp, do the A, O, oh, three, do, do, do. does an F power chord, so first fret, third fret, it's a G power chord, then E. And so the rhythm isn't always the same way. I feel like later in the verses, or like in the intro, he's a little more uh, chucky, chicky, chicky with it, and then later it's a little more open. guys enjoyed the lesson and thank you for hanging around uh if you haven't yet i appreciate you subscribing to the channel and then check out the links down there for all kinds of bonuses take care